Dear viewers, put your best effort to your work and wait for the feedback. I am your host Muhammad Asif Jaja and you are watching my YouTube channel ETV 786. We are learning the basic concepts of accounting and this is the third lesson of basic concepts of accounting and title is the accounting equation. We will learn through this lesson that what is the accounting equation. The accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus capital or owner equity. Hence, the capital is equal to assets minus liabilities. Accounting equation sets the foundation of double entry accounting system and highlights the structure of the balance sheet. Double entry accounting is a system where every transaction affects both sides of the accounting equation. For every change to an asset account, there must be an equal change to a related liability or capital or shareholder's equity account. Double entry bookkeeping requires that for each transaction, an entry is made once for the item exchanged and once for the form of settlement. And this is also called the accrual accounting. Balance sheet actually a balance between what belongs to the business and what do not belong to the business, such as assets belong to the business and liabilities and capital do not belong to the business as they are payable to the third parties. An example for the equation Assets is equal to zero, liabilities is equal to zero, and capital is equal to zero. This is the start of the business. And now the first transaction occurs in the business that Mr. Bean starts a business with initial capital or investment of rupees 5000 in cash and a table and chair worth of rupees 1000. So Mr. Bean introduced the capital of cash rupees 5000 and furniture worth of rupees 1000. So what will be the effect of this transaction to the accounting equation? Assets will add cash 5000 and furniture 1000. On the other side of the equation, liabilities have, have no effect with this transaction and capital is increased with an amount of rupees 6000. So both sides of the equation are equal with an amount of rupees 6000. Another example, now the position of the equation is that assets are cash 5000, furniture 1000, liabilities are zero, and capital is 6000. The second transaction occurs when Mr. Beans purchases inventory of rupees 5000 from Mr. T, paying cash of rupees 2000 and credit of rupees 3000, payable after three months. So what will be the change in the equation? Assets cash is going with an amount of 2000, so it will decrease to rupees 3000. Inventory will increase with rupees 5000, and furniture already recorded by rupees 1000. So, asset side of the equation is rupees 9,000. 
On the other side, liabilities affects rupees 3000 are payable after three months to Mr. T and that will be increasing the liability of rupees 3000 and capital has no change with rupees 6000. So both sides of the equation are equal with rupees 9000. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. My channel name is ETV786. Bye-bye.